morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to Sunday School. I hope that you're having a great weekend. I hope things are really going well for you. It's been a fun weekend, probably. Lots of stuff happening, Halloween, lots of things. But I'm glad that you chose to get up this morning and come to Sunday School, whether it is in person here on campus or it is in uh, virtual through this video, I'm glad I get to see you, and I'm glad that I get to talk to you just for a few minutes, because it's important that we include God in our lives every day, and we continue to grow in Him and learn. Today, I brought a couple of things with me, all right? I brought this hammer. Now, how many of you, raise your hand, if you've ever used a hammer. Well, I, I'm in the family room today doing some work. Um, I'll show you. I've been hanging some pictures and just getting things nice and clean up in here. And I tried to hang this picture, not joking, using my shoe. Now, Miss Chris is always kind of trying to, you know, do things in a hurry. And, and I'm a pretty resourceful gal. And I just took my shoe off and I tried to nail the nails into the wall using the heel of my shoe. And it worked okay for a second, but it's not a really good way to hammer a nail into the wall, is it? So I had to go and ask Mr. Josh if he had a hammer. And he did. And then you know what? I got that job done just like that. I, it, this was the right tool for the job that I was doing. I don't know if you've ever tried to do a job before without the right kind of tools, but it can get a little frustrating. One time I was trying to, um, I was trying to nail a nail into the wall with my shoe and I missed and I knocked a big hole in the wall because I didn't have the right kind of tools. My tool didn't really fit. But as I was thinking about tools this morning, I thought about these things. Hold up your hands. Take a really good look at these hands and I want you to think about what kind of tools these are. You know, God knew exactly what we would need in our lives and he gave us all the resources that we need. And this book by Max Licato is gonna help us to remember exactly what we can do using just our two hands. I love this book. It's called One Hand, Two Hands. Oh, the ways we can help with our hands. I'll show you the pictures while I read. One hand, two hands, five fingers and 10, nails and knuckles, two thumbs and some skin. From scratching and latching and petting a pup, combing and brushing and holding a cup. One right and one left, one here and one there. Clap them, snap them, wave them in the air. Squeeze them real tight and make your own fist or flop them and bop them by bending your wrist. In water they're wet, in snow they feel cold. Soap makes them clean, at least I'm told. Pick flowers, they smell sweet. Squish cheese, they smell stinky. Ooey pooey right down to your pinky. Button your shirt. Tie your own shoe. Play in the band. Do -de -do, 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 do Dig in the dirt. Draw lines in the sand. Oh, the things we can do because we have hands. Our hands. They can wipe tears. They can give a gift. They can write grandma a letter. With hands and a hug, we make people feel better. Wash dishes with mommy, put toys in the box. Clean this and wipe that, even pick up our socks. With hands, we are helpers. At the end of the day, 
we fold them together and happily pray. One hand, two hands, five fingers, ten. God, thanks for my hands. Please use them again. You see, boys and girls, our hands can be very useful tools, can they not? When with helping hands, we can do things for others that they may not be able to do for themselves. We can lend a helping hand when someone is feeling like they're a little overwhelmed or out of, t out of control. You might be able to help them by cleaning up your room or lending a hand with chores around the house like feeding your pets. Our hands can be kind hands, can't they? We can use our hands to hold the hand of a friend who's going through a tough time. Or maybe we can draw a letter or a card, a picture for someone who's not feeling well. Our hands can be very kind. Our hands can be loving. We hold, when we fold our hands to pray, God hears our prayers and he feels the love that we have for him. But we can also encourage others with loving hands. When someone has done a good job, you can clap and say, good job. It makes good people feel good. And when you see someone that you haven't seen in a while, a wave with your hand or a big old hug, those can be very loving hands. God gave us all the things that we need to do exactly what it is that he put us on this earth to do. He gave us the tools, not hammers and nails, but hands so that we could have loving and caring and kind and helpful hands. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for our hands and put us in places that you can use them. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Have a great week and I will see y'all soon.